Here in Bloomington this weekend, everyone has come together for the live music, the art, and of course, the fun. Take a look at the newly renovated Sydney and Lois Eskenazi Museum of Art. The first thing you notice is the soaring atrium. Cans for Killy collected over 130,000 cans, which took them 8,000 miles from here in Indiana to here in Tanzania, Africa, where I joined the team as they took on this mountainous goal. Women have great speed on race day, averaging only two miles per hour slower than the men. The difference will be the endurance. IU alumni started a recycling mission in Indianapolis, which took them to Africa's highest peak, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, and involved the famous environmentalist, Jane Goodall. I took the journey as well. What accumulated in song, dance and celebration on the top of Kilimanjaro began with an environmental goal. That goal, to increase recycling in Indianapolis and reduce deforestation in Tanzania. Christina Zerfus, an IU alumni, was the bridge. She created an initiative to partner with Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots in Tanzania. By collecting enough aluminum cans in our hometowns, we could increase the recycling in certain areas, decrease carbon emissions to cover flights, and also help reforest Kilimanjaro while we are here. Zerfus says Indianapolis is ranked as one of the most wasteful cities in the United States. So Cans for Killy began encouraging people to recycle. Christina found that the ecosystem on Mount Kilimanjaro was in trouble. So she decided to create a project that would help reforest the area. It allowed an outlet for me to reach out to executives and CEOs and, and large corporations uh, within Indianapolis and have a, have a purpose and goal to talk to those people and, and get them involved in a recycling effort. After their reforestation efforts, the team was invited to a surprise dinner with Jane Goodall. Then came the climb to summit Kilimanjaro, a mountaintop experience in every sense of the word. For 26 years, Lotus has brought the community together through its unique festival culture, a world community. Thursday night kicked off the annual Lotus World Music and Arts Festival. What other chance would I have to get to see this, you know, gamelan group from a tiny village in Bali in Indiana? Not just Bali, but music and dance from Jordan and Palestine and Argentina and Sweden. Attendees had hot air balloon rides and listened to IU formed bands. 27 artists performed downtown at 12 venues over the four days. Each year, Lotus gives festival goers the chance to experience a variety of world cultures through music and arts. Foodies had the opportunity to indulge in global street food from venues and local food trucks. But Lotus is about much more than food. It's about connection. I think that just connecting them with the community and also connecting the community with culture is really important, especially for the young generation and you know hopefully we can keep continuing that. It's a bit greasy down low and up top, but where do you think it's gonna go? Congratulations, high five. <laughs> what do you reckon about our Aussie accent? What, do you, what can you do? Can you do a good day mate or throw another shrimp on the barbie? Good day mate. What are you guys looking forward to the most about Rev Indy tonight? Oh my god, there's so much. Um, good food. What does racing the Indianapolis 500 mean to you, to you coming so far from Australia? 